So let's start by going over the anatomy of the pec major, because again, this will really help us to understand how it functions and how we can best exercise it. Now, you may have heard of people talking about working out the upper pec, the mid pec, and the lower pec. And again, if we take a look at this beautiful fan-shaped muscle, we can see that we can break it down into three parts or three heads. We have the clavicular head attaching to the medial half of the clavicle, the sternocostal head attaching to the sternum, and the second through sixth costal cartilages. And costal just means rib, so the second through sixth rib cartilages. And the third part is the abdominal head. Now, the abdominal head can vary a bit from person to person. It can be larger and smaller in some people and even be completely absent. So some anatomy books don't even mention it. But on this particular body, you could say that it has a small abdominal head because the abdominal head are these fibers that attach to the rectus sheath, which is this white connective tissue sheath that you can see here. Then we removed part of it here and here and then kept the majority of it intact down below. And the rectus sheath covers the rectus abdominis. And rectus abdominis is just the fancy pants name for the six-pack muscle. And we've only exposed a few blocks of the six-pack muscle. And then again, kept the rectus sheath intact, covering up the majority of that muscle.